remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. With just a few days to the September 21st gubernatorial elections in Edo State, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has reaffirmed its commitment to collaborate with all stakeholders, including security agencies, to ensure a peaceful and credible exercise. INEC boss Professor Mahmoud Yakubu made the commitment last week as former military head of state General Abdul Salam Abubakar and Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka led political parties participating in the off season election to sign a peace accord ahead of the polls. The signing of the peace accord is now a key pre election ritual in Nigeria usually performed by the National Peace Committee, led by former military head of state, General Abdul Salami Abubakar and Bishop Matthew Hassan Kuka. Despite the symbolic importance of the peace accord, there's been ongoing debate about the commitment of political parties to its letters, as well as the committee's role in enforcing the accord, which has been described as just a mere exercise without any action for enforcement. Notwithstanding, the committee last week touched down in Edo State to carry out this ritual ahead of the state's off-season governorship election scheduled for this Saturday, September 21st. The signing of this peace accord signifies we are ready to place the interests of the people which you want to serve above individual or party. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, who was in attendance, affirmed the commission's readiness for the upcoming polls. For us in INEC to play our part according to the law and best practice as articulated in the clauses of the National Peace Accord. He also made it clear that INEC will retrieve all uncollected permanent voter cards for onward storage at the Central Bank of Nigeria. Inspector General of Police Kayode Egbetakun added that 35,000 police officers would be deployed to ensure that the process is hit free. We have put in place robust security measures for the safety of persons and materials that will be involved in this election. Our robust security measures will prevent and respond to every potential threat. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its candidate, Asue Wodalo, were absent at the event. Though this did not come as a surprise, as Governor Godwin Obasiki and the party in the state had claimed that the Nigeria police, responsible for enforcing the accord, is acting and showing bias in favor of the Opposition or Progressives Congress, APC. For the APC, which initially withdrew from participating in the peace accord signing, its candidate, Senator Monde Opebolo, eventually signed the accord. The race is heating up, not just between the APC and PDP, but also with the emergence of the Labour Party's candidate, Mr. Olumide Akpata, adding to the intensity of the contest. In a related development, civil society organizations in the state have also called on both citizens and stakeholders in the election to ensure violence and contribute to a peaceful, free and fair election. Election is not supposed to be a do or die affair. But in Nigeria, the capitalists just take delight in activating our youth to exhibit agbeiroism and glomism where their children studied in the best university aside jurisdiction. Is this the essence of democracy? This is yet another golden opportunity for Edo citizens to embrace the powerful principle of choosing a leader who genuinely represents their hopes and ambitions, as well as one who can champion the all-round development of the state. Ultimately, the outcome of this decision will define the direction of Edo state for the next four years. Inside the Niger Delta, 